Hello, everybody, and welcome to NASCAR.com, NASCAR Nationwide Series Garage Cam, presented by Mobile One. We are live at Bristol Motor Speedway practice, just about to end here, the first practice for Nationwide Series. Garage Cam today is smack dab in the middle of those two sessions. And here comes the number 24 car being rolled backwards, Ruben Garcia. It was supposed to be Jason White in this car this weekend, but Ruben Garcia taking the seat. First person in today's interactive chat during practice here. You got in there. It's Jennifer Sloan White. Hi, everybody. I'd like to see Ryan Reed and Ryan Blaney, please. Oh, we just posted a picture of Ryan Blaney using the hashtag, hashtag garage cam on Twitter. Welcome, everybody, to the show. I'm your host, Matthew Dillner, as we look at Matt Carter's late entry, the number 13 machine, and Pat McDonald. Hi, hi Miss Pat. Here on Garage Cam. If you're new to the show, make sure you tune in. If you're watching this video of the number 13 car of Matt Carter, go to the right of the video screen. You see the chat room. Hop in. Tell us who you are, where you're from, and what you want to see today on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. And hey, I always want to see Pat McDonald. Thumbs up. Woo! <laughs> One of the great car owners in this business. The McDonald family has been such a part of the NASCAR scene here. Native Canadians and just great, great people. Saw Miss Pat. Saw Miss Pat over there a little while ago, helping the crew out, picking up cords, rolling them up. It's awesome. Well, that session, you heard the quietness come on the speedway here, and that session is is now over. So we get to show you the garage. We get to walk out here. There's Tommy Joe Martins, working with the crew, working hard on this number 67 car and we get to go out on pit road and give you our all access tour of the nationwide garage or lack thereof there's no garages here at bristol we're out in the open baby matt d matt d benedetto spent the tail end of the session on top of his hauler willie allen's machine and folks if you look at the scoreboard here it's the usual cast of characters up there here at bristol on top of the speed charts in the first practice, Kyle Busch followed by Matt Kenseth. And then third, Kyle Larson, Kevin Harvick, and making his first start, Cale Conley, with an impressive speed. But I'll tell you what, walking up and down this pit road, there were an area driver that said thumbs up, that gave a thumbs up when I asked them how their car was. It was only the top few guys, so those guys have speed, everybody else, is looking for it, including Kelly Admiral here, making his first start here in this number 29, live on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. Just getting out of the car and debriefing here. Tell us about the first session here at Bristol. Man, that was incredible. Uh, this is my first time here, and I did not expect, uh, expect, I mean, it looks so much different on TV, and once you get on the track, it's just incredible. Um, the speed that you can do here in a half, on a half mile track is, Unreal. Um, really excited for it for uh, Swan Rentals and RAB, and uh, can't wait to uh, to race this Toyota Camry. All right, you got some work to do here with the crew chief to yeah. debrief here. Hey, thanks for joining us, Kelly Admiral on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. There's a lot of work to be done here between sessions because it's not just all about driver comfort. Kelly Admiral, the first time on the track here at Bristol, and you could see some signs of a rookie right there. But I'll tell you what, you got to get here in this 30 minutes that you have between the sessions, talk to your crew, go over the notes, go over the tire pressures, the temperatures, and the setup of these race cars, explain to the crew chief exactly what's going on, and get a game plan going for the second and important practice session coming up as we look at Blake Cook's number 10, supportthemilitary.org car. Got to love supportthemilitary.org. Great to have them in racing. And Lenny Whitehead, this is your request for Blake Cook. The number 10 machine. Little digital camo there. Some great people with them and on board in that team. As we scroll down here, I like, you know, we're a computer based show, so let's just say scroll. <laughs> 93, Carl Long. Carl Long and this team joking around at the end of that session, having a good time together. And Kale Conley, very impressive. First practice session for young Cal Conley. Hoping to see him, but I think he might have already ducked back to the trailer. 
There's the RCR trailer over there as we pass Mike Harmon. A lot of these teams, a lot of these drivers hopping into their haulers just for a brief 10, 15 minute talk with their crew chief. As we look at Josh Wise's number 40 machine, Timmy Hill running double duty this week. And I'll tell you what, you get a lot of this when you come to Bristol. It's a really tough place to handle. And if you look at the side of Tanner Berryhill's number 17 machine, you can see how easy it is to get at, in trouble here at Bristol. Matt D. Benedetto, we actually talking with Tanner Berryhill here, live on NASCAR.com garage cam. See if we can come in here and talk to these guys here. All right, we'll, we'll start with you since you have, you know, the stellar hair rocking right here. But I saw you up there not partaking in the whole session, just kind of watching. <laughs> what, what, what were you trying to learn? Oh, we went out and we were like 15th quick at first. I don't know where we ended up, like 17th, 18th or something. Um, but uh, I only made a few laps because it hit the racetrack going out and it was hitting the splitter on the right front. So we got to change right front spring. And, and with them having the 40 car and the 46, you know, and a little understaffed, kind of got to take our time and make sure everything's done right. So I, we just, the car drove good other than hit and it, was, it has a lot of speed. So just figured it was good enough to take off the rest of the practice and make sure it's all done right and then go out next practice, make sure it's good. All right, Matt D. D Benedetto and Tanner, uh, yeah. you had a little bit of contact with the uh, right side I, of the car I there. Tell me what, what happened. You want me to interview him? Yeah, you, you do it. Yeah. Oh, so uh, NASCAR driver Tanner <laughs> Berryhill, we see uh, the right side of your car has wall marks. They're, they're not supposed to have those. So, uh, so what happened? Well, you know, sometimes you just got to test your limits, you know, because like real race car drivers like to push it to the edge. You know what oh. I mean? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm playing. But no, I wasn't even up to speed yet. I was just uh, getting up to speed with uh, the rest of the pace and uh, I let some cars go by because I just pulled on the track and I got into the rubber, this new right side compound they put on the tires. There's rubber everywhere and it was like driving on ice. So, I mean, you know, it, it's unfortunate we got in the wall a little bit, but guys were putting it back together and I only got to make one run and we were pretty quick right off the bat. So next session, we should be really good. All right, did you use some of those bats? To, to roll out the, uh, you yeah, know, the average. Of you're sponsored B by a bat company. Yeah, BWP Baseball Bats out of Pennsylvania. Mona, the owner of it, she's a really nice lady, you know, and they've been supporting us for the first three, four races. And uh, we're trying to put a deal together with them to run the whole deal. And uh, we need to I'd replace these. We need to replace these with baseball bats, though. Yeah, okay? that'd be cool, wouldn't That's it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So everyone check out BWP Bats and uh, tell them I sent you. All right. Tanner Barry Hill, thanks for joining us. And our new reporter, Matt D. Benedetto. Yeah. Matt D., baby. Hey, you're not replacing this Matt D. Uh -huh, why not? There's only one Matt D. in Garage Cam, but we'll have you as a, as a you guest have, host every once in a while. Matt D. is competition now. Yeah, exactly. Everyone. My name's easier to say. That's true. All right. We'll see you guys. <laughs> oh, always having fun here on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. Joey Gase's car right here. We'll look. We've got our producer out here with us. Check it out with our Sprint tablet. That's how we keep track of everything going on in that chat room with you guys. So make sure you check in. We'll try to give you some shout outs, requests. If you have a question for Garage Cam, come on, bring it. Jeffrey Earnhardt, this Flex Seal number four machine. Jeffrey is at the front of the, the machine right here. We'll see if we can grab Jeffrey Earnhardt right here. Talk to him between sessions here, okay? We are between sessions, that first session. This Flex Seal number four, how'd it go? Uh, it went pretty good, you know. We uh, we just kept making positive changes, and it's, it's always fun when you're going the right way. Um, now these guys, are, they've been busting their asses the past couple weeks, and they, you know, hadn't shown we hadn't had the performances we needed, but um, they've obviously turned around here today. So uh, looking forward to being here at Bristol. I mean, we were pretty decent here last year and ended up getting involved in a wreck, so uh, that's that's nature of short track racing. but. Uh, Hopefully we'll have a good run here. Flex Hill number four Chevrolet. I mean, it's uh, it's pr 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 that's pretty good right now. So if we make it a little bit better here in the second practice, I think we're 20th in that practice around a bunch of really good cars. Get a little bit faster, we'll be pretty happy. For the fans at home, describe this because you know you always need to have a fast race car, but some tracks are aerodynamic. Some tracks it's so much mechanical. Sometimes when you come back to a track like this, for a team like yourself. This is a good track for you guys. It puts it back in the driver's hands, doesn't it, a short track? Oh, big time. I mean, you know, it's, these these big teams, they got so much. I mean, it's unreal, you know. 
I, I got to experience it when I drove Junior's car. It's just, you know, it's outrageous, the, the technology and stuff that they have. So to come to a place like this or like your super speedways where, you know, pretty much throws everybody back in the mix is always fun and, um, you know, it gives us a time to shine being a small team. So. Um, you know, these guys at JDM, you know, they're just, they're busting their asses and, uh, you know, hopefully we can give them a good week, a good weekend here at Bristol. All right. Thanks a lot, Jeffrey Earnhardt for joining us here at NASCAR.com Garage Cam. And that's the number four Flex Seal car. And there's Jamie Dick's machine, the number 55. We were talking about people getting into the wall. I don't know if our producer can peer over to the hefty hauler right there and see if uh, we can get Eric McClure out here. but. Man, Eric McClure making quite imp uh, some impact here on the wall. Hey, I'm getting punched here. It's it's okay. Is this like a punching video? Like this like is a punching video. Let's fight. Let's come fight. on. It, this come is on. Ben Rhodes, I'm by the way. The ben Let's Rhodes go. of the NASCAR Next program, running the uh, the KNE series, and and uh, what are you doing here at Bristol, buddy? I'm supporting my Turner Scott Motorsport teammates. It's a lot of fun so far, and I had to come beat up on you. I saw you walking around like a big caveman. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm a little larger than you, so, you know, but. But that doesn't mean you're tougher, because they call me the Savage. You know that, right? The Savage. The I didn't savage. know this. They do. I know you rap, though. I do rap. You want you want you a, a freestyler? Yeah, you want give, a give us a little that? freestyle, uh, right. Ben Rhodes. Now, here's a little story I got to tell about three bad brothers, you know, so well. Started way back in history with that at Arkham CA and me, Ben Rhodes. Oh, oh, that didn't there, there you go. I mean, no, it, that's okay, it was, but it was okay, we'll work but, on it. So, yeah. hey, I saw you on top of the uh, hauler for, yep. for uh, Kyle Larson. <laughs> Listening, a young driver like yourself, not racing here yet. What are you trying to learn? Well, um, we're starting on the pole for tomorrow's Kane and East race, and I'm just trying to get all the information I can, how these guys give feedback, what I can improve on, talking to my crew chief. These guys have so much knowledge. I'm just yep. trying to learn from them. So. All right. We'll get back up there, learn no more rapping, <laughs> just learning, and then tomorrow in the East Series race, this guy will start for the pole. Go get him, Ben Rhodes. All right. Thank you, guys. You got it, buddy. <laughs> ben Rhodes right there, coming and rapping for us on NASCAR.com. He tried to embarrass me, but I brought out the rap reference because he has an interesting YouTube video where the guys had him in his car and he started rapping and he didn't realize the cameras are rolling, so I had to bust his chops. This 14 car, getting back to this right here, the hefty uh, Reynolds rap team, the number 14 team, having to battle back a little right now from adversity. The number 14, Eric McClure, getting into the wall on practice pretty substantially, but not substantial enough to have to roll out a backup car. You saw the crew when Ben Rhodes walked up. They're working on this deck lid portion of the race car, making sure it's secure up here, as well as making sure everything is square, everything is safe, and getting this 14 ready to get back on the track for the second session. Talked to Eric McClure's people just before the uh, end of that practice, and they said they're not rolling out a backup car. They're making this car right. They've got the string lined up right here, making sure everything is straight, and this team thinks this car will be ready to go for this second session. Jeremy Clements, all South Electrical Machine right here. Joe Nemechek's number 87 right next to it. See if we get in here with JC. What's up, brother? How are you doing? Just got out of the car. Okay, just got out of the car, and his hair is actually pretty good. So um, tell me about the first session here for this 51. Uh, we're trying to get the bugs worked out. Uh, there are bugs in the car? <laughs> yeah. No, it's no. Dirty. Ser <laughs> Seriously, though, though, how, how are you running and what, what, what are you trying to improve on? Everything. <laughs> Speed, trying to get faster. Um, they brought a new, well, they brought two new tires, uh, or four new tires, left side and right side. And it's just different setup, calls for it. And the track's a little treacherous. You got to run up our car, we got to run up high because uh, we don't have the the best motor in it. So we got to run up high to keep the speed up in it. And it's but up there is where some of the marbles are. So you yes. got to be careful. But we're trying to get it better. It's too tight right now. And uh, we're going to get it better and hopefully race uh, race the heck out of them tomorrow. Can't All right. Wait. Glad we're here. All right, Jeremy Clements. Hope everybody thanks. has a good Friday out there. Hey, thanks how can you not have a great Friday? That's right. We're at the racetrack. The sun's out, beautiful. baby. And it's, it's great. I mean, look at it. It's beautiful. See, and then you, you're going you're gonna to have a better run. Oh, we have, of course, our our always biggest Jeremy Clements fan. I have a sweet tooth for Jeremy Clements and the number 51 car. I don't know what that who, means. Who that? I'm just glad that she didn't ask us to kiss. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, no more what? kissing. Yeah. That, who is that again? Tigra. Oh, yeah. She, Tigra. Th She's thanks for watching, Tigra. We appreciate the, it. The fans man right here, Jeremy Clements <laughs> nice from guy. the upstate of South Carolina. I heard uh, read a great article by an upstate paper about Jeremy Clements this week. Great to see him get some local pub. And here's Eric McClure right here in the hefty driver. Come on over here. 
I want a little show and tell. I know it's not a been not a great day for you, but in all, you're still having a great day because the car is fixable. This uh, Reynolds Wrap Hefty crew has been working their butt off. What happened during the practice yeah. session to get you in the wall? I'm uh, really not sure. We uh, I was going to follow somebody, just got in behind them, wasn't even up to speed, and next thing you know, there's no grip, and, and you're in the wall. So it's got a little bit of the marbles there. Uh, I think so. There. It must have been. It's a little a little bit different here. I think it's going to be wild. You saw it happen in the Cup Garage a little bit earlier today, and if those guys can do it, I, I'm certainly not a above it. I'm a little bit embarrassed and hate it, the, the extra work for the guys, but it looks like we'll be able to fix it and hit reset and start over and hopefully don't do it again. This track here is special to a lot of people. What about you? Well, it's, it's special uh, for what it means to our family. You yep. know, they won their first cup race here. And, and as, uh, when I was growing up, this was one of the very few places we got to go to. Certainly, it was a lot easier to get in. The, the infield was grass. You could throw football and cook out and just have a lot of special memories coming to this racetrack. I can't say that they've carried over to the racing part of it. I, I love racing here. I, I like racing in front of a lot of the local fans that saw me when I did have success in the short tracks, but uh, can't say that the results have been what we wanted here. So uh, you never know. We still have to race tomorrow and, and hopefully we'll end up okay. And you didn't have to go to a backup car. This hefty crew working really hard. So things That's are going to be looking they up are. for you. And Virginia won. First time in the ACC quarterfinals or in the semifinals since 95. So that's got to be good, right? So that's going to give you some movement. I've got nothing else so far today, so we're going to try to turn it around <laughs> There you <now>. go. <laughs> Eric McClure, thanks, thanks for joining us on Garage Cam. Always like having Eric McClure, his family, of course. If you remember the name of McClure, Morgan McClure Motorsports, the famed number four cars there in Cup, Ernie Irvin, Sterling Marlin, so many people bringing those cars to success, not only here at Bristol, but all over the Daytona 500, a great racing family right there. Speaking of great racing families, the multi-time, ARCA Series champion, well, this is his kid, Will Kimmel, right here in the Ingersoll Rand, number 44 machine, making another start here in the Nationwide Series. Here's a guy that I talked to between the sessions. I don't see him right now, but Chris Busher, the number 60 machine, trying to rebound, of course, from missing the Daytona 500 at the beginning of the year. And, you know, one of the several people that I said, hey, how's your car running? And I just got the, this, this hand signal. You ready? Yeah. Got that from a lot of people here between the sessions for Chris Busher. Oh, there is Chris Busher talking with his crew. Let's see if we can go over there and get him. CJ Letirzo, the spotter here, helping us out here. In a little bit of a chat session here with his crew is uh, Chris Busher. Here is the number 43. Oh, well, there's Nick, Nick Duncan. And here is the number 43 of... Dakota Armstrong, another driver struggling during that first practice to find speed. Dakota saying that uh, they're very, very loose on entry. They're very tight through the middle of the corner and out, but they have to work on getting the car into the corner because that's the thing. If you can't get the car into the corner properly, the middle and the exit are worthless. Landon Castle, the number 01 car, Johnny Davis machine being worked on here. As we rove on down past them to Mike Wallace, Last, year, last week, sponsored by Garage Cam, and Mike Wallace talked about embryos. Yes, last week. Yes, he did. He uh, was able to extricate a horse embryo. An amazing story. An amazing story. Everything happens in Vegas. I would just wish that story stayed in Vegas, but that's okay. Driver Ryan Reed here. A big week weekend for Ryan Reed. Let's go see if we could talk to Ryan, because I see him over there. We're going to have to hop the wall here, boys. So we got some work to do. But why not? See if we could cross here and talk to young Ryan Reed. A lot of the drivers over here buy their haulers. And here is Ryan Reed, live here on NASCAR.com Garage Can, catching up with you. And of course, a big weekend with the sponsor of the race. Can it connect it all with you, with the team? Tell us, tell us how much pride there is in that and how much you really want to go out there and perform because of it. Yeah, I'll tell you, there's, there's a little extra pressure this weekend. The Drive to Stop Diabetes 300 is going to be a lot of fun. You know, having all the folks from Lily Diabetes here, it's going to be a really special weekend. Uh, you know, I, I think having, having the experience of the, of the fall race 
our summer race is going to help us a ton here. We In practice, we tried some things we learned uh, here last year, so and then they made the car better. So we're making gains on the first practice, and uh, it's just, it's, I mean, the whole Bristol weekend is just so much fun. It's such a high race and brings you back to your roots. So to be able to combine all that with uh, the Drive to Stop program is, uh, is huge, and be able to spread all that awareness is going to be awesome. And that's a comfort level that a rookie coming back here a rookie's always looking for that little comfort level coming back to a track you've been at. Yeah, you know, and I think that, that you know, Richmond's going to be one of them. Phoenix is one of them before I, uh, you know, stepped in it there at the end. But, you know, I think that just um, you haven't, haven't just to walk into the place, you know, and know, okay, you know, this is how the bumps feel or this is how, you know, this is what that surface is like is it, huge, you know, and uh, there's going to be most of the places we go to that I've never been to before. So when I get to go to a place that I've been to before, I'm going to soak it in. All right. Thanks a lot, Ryan Reed, for joining us here. We'll give you a look right now at Blake Cook talking with veteran Mike Bliss. Going over a few things here behind the hauler, a little chat session. Talking about their race cars. Let's see if we could get back out there. Cut through one of the pit areas here. I, I think we could cut through Chris Rice's pit area. I think Chris Rice will probably allow us here, the 99 car, to cut through his pit area. Get back out there onto the main part of pit road. Watch your step here, got a cord, guys. And there is Mike Bliss's car right there, the number 19 machine. And if we had waited two seconds, Ryan Reed was walking out here. He just took a picture of his car, the uh, drive to stop diabetes number 16. Chris Busher's number 99 right here. We still got a lot of cars to show here. Ryan Sieg, the number 39 car. Dylan K, Dylan Kwasneski. Ten minutes to go on NASCAR.com Garage Cam. Ten minutes as we pass Dylan K's rock star number 31. Tough weekend last weekend at Las Vegas. They were running really strong, and hey, that happens in racing. Got to show you something really cool here. My buddy Brandon Gone, the number 62 South Boy Casino Machine. Lost his grandfather this week, and Yale Cortez is a hotel that his grandfather founded. Little tribute on the hood. John Jackie gone on the car, and in memory of John Jackie gone, Brennan gone, his grandfather. Prayers go out to the entire gone family, but Brennan is here doing what his grandpa would want him to do. And racing. And it's great to see. Brennan Gaughan, one of the great guys here that we all love in the Nationwide Series. And his teammate flying the same decal out of respect on the other RCR entry. Three RCR entries this weekend. That number 33 car of Cale Conley. Big surprise up there. I think uh, sixth on the board. Fifth or sixth on the board. Matt Strickert. Now, oh, Louis Donato Wasn't Matt Strickert. Louis Donato You want to see the number nine of Chase Elliott. Well, Louis Donato, here's your car right here, your favorite car, Chase Elliott's number nine car. And there is the young rookie from Dawsonville, Georgia, here on Garage Cam. All right, Bristol, man, what do you think? I don't know. I'll tell you all tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> still have a little bit of work to do right now, trying to get a couple vibrations worked out of it, and hopefully we got that fixed now, and we can uh, just try to dial in here this practice. What, what type of things are you working on here between the sessions? Because we were just see, you know, talking to some guys that are working on things during the session, trying to get the car not to, to scrape on the ground and things like that. Between the sessions, so you have time, especially as a rookie, to come out, debrief, settle down a little bit, and form a game plan, don't you? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, we Our first practice didn't go as smoothly as we hoped, having that vibration, so that kind of throws a kink into what we had hoped to get through. So first, first things first is try to get that fixed, and then uh, – just go back to short track racing. You can't forget you're doing that. So first guy back to the gasoline tomorrow afternoon. Hey, that's a good way to put it. Chase Elliott here, this Napa car. I like that. First person back to the gas wins it. Simple, but it's good. Hey, it's Russell. Hi, Russell. Wave hi to the camera. <laughs> Here's the number three, Ty Dillon's machine. Looking pretty sporty this weekend. A flat black look for the Yingling Light. Lager number three. Beautiful look on that machine. For Ty Dillon, looking behind, see if Ty is around. Matt Kenseth, P2 on the chart for the first session. And I'll tell you what, that number 20 rocket ship there, Joe Gibbs Racing, was fast. And guess what? See this? Toyota's very fast. 
Six, last six races, only one driver outside of the Toyota camp has won a nationwide series race, and that is Elliott Sadler. And guess what? Now he drives a Toyota. Elliott Sadler back then was with Richard Childress Racing in the Chevrolet. Now he is in the one main financial Toyota with Joe Gibbs Racing. So trying to carry on the, the real big success that Toyota has had here in the NASCAR Nationwide Series as of late. Francisco Henriques, please show me the number six car of Trevor Bain. Tell him he is awesome. <laughs> well, Trevor Bain, this is a home race for Trevor Bain, a, a race that I've talked with him for years about. He just loves coming here. I mean, he's a Tennessee native. And uh, you, you, if you're from Tennessee, I mean, they're going to fill this place full of people here on Saturday and Sunday. And they're going to have a football game here in 2015 or 16 with Tennessee versus uh, Virginia Tech. I'm sure Trevor Bain might want to be at that one too. But you know what he wants to do? He wants to put the 100-something thousand people here at Bristol on their feet for him in this Avocare number six Ford and try to break that Toyota streak that we were talking about. Trevor Bain coming into this race with a lot of high hopes so far this season, a very strong start to the season for Trevor Bain. They find themselves up there in the point standings having three solid runs. So Trevor Bain looking pretty good. He's a championship contender this year in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. There he is. The one man financial driver of Elliott Sather. What's up, my man? Uh, Struggling to get, <laughs> hustling to get to his car is Elliott Sather. We talked to Elliott and before. Of course, this is the place where he saw his first ever win in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, a place that he loves so very much. Of course, the Emporia, Virginia native. This is a big, big, if you're from Virginia, Bristol is practically Virginia. So this is sort of a home race for Elliott Sadler, a place where he won with the Wood Brothers in 2003, I believe it was, with the Motorcraft Ford. And of course, here in the NASCAR Nationwide Series as well. Kyle Larson. And uh, Amabeth Benke. Please let me see the one and only Kyle Larson. I am a huge fan of his. Well, here is the number 42 who sat on the speed charts and P2 for much of the practice until he was knocked down to P3 by Matt Kenseth, but very fast. And remember, the last time we were here in the Nationwide Series last year, it was the Kyle and Kyle show. Kyle Busch, Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson, of course, a rookie then, a little more experience under his belt now and driving double duty this weekend. The number 42. And here's T. Bain. About to hop in his car. A big weekend, of course, for Trevor Bain. We'll let him hop in his car right here. Because we're in Tennessee, baby. That's right. So what do you what do you think, man? It's just it's a great weekend, but you're already in the middle of busy time right here. You had a practice session, another one coming up. How important are these two practice sessions? Because qualifying is awfully important now. It is. And uh, for us, we're just working on race trim, trying to get it to drive good. Drivability is really important here at Bristol. I mean, obviously, fast lap times are, too, for qualifying. But uh, normally, by the end of the race, the times have fallen off quite a bit. And the cars are just moving around so much. So right now, I'm really free into turn one. Uh, that's our biggest problem we're trying to work on, which uh, didn't come as a shock here at Bristol. It seems like that happens every year. It sneaks up on us. But um, hopefully, we get it figured out. And then uh, for qualifying, we can just go lay down a lap and close our eyes a little bit. What's it going to take real quick? Five of the last six ra uh, races here, won by Toyotas. I know you want to get that blue oval in victory lane. What's it going to take? Well, it's going to take uh, being faster than the rest of the guys and figuring out how to keep this thing uh, looking like it is right now without messing up the right side of it, I guess. But uh, for me, I, I guess we've, we've been fast here. We've been on the front row two times, but we haven't figured out how to put the whole race together. Um, we've either gotten way loose on entry or gotten way too tight in the center. So this right now, uh, this practice is what's going to win the person in the race, whoever that is, and hopefully we figure it out better than everybody else does, I guess. All right, Trevor Bain about the climb into this. Advocare Ford machine right here, and he said it very best. You have to get it all together. We talked before about people being loose on entry. He was saying that they had a little trouble with that. You can't complete a really fast, complete lap here at Bristol without having a good, solid, smooth, and stable entry. Kevin Harvick, the number five car, running this weekend, Junior Motorsports. Kevin Harvick going for his 
sixth win. He has five here, trying to tie the record of Kyle Busch, who has the most wins here in the Nationwide Series. Okay, over in the Cup side, they've raced here for so many years, and, and Darrell Waltrip has 12 wins. But in the Nationwide Series, Kyle Busch has rocked it here with six wins. So this guy right here trying to tie that mark. Here's Regan Smith's number seven, Tax Slayer Machine. Talking to some of these guys earlier, they were a little free on entry here in that first session. They're working on things to try to get. Here's Kyle Rowdy Bush's number 54 car. The number 22 car of Ryan Blaney right here. Well, let's see, I think we got Ryan Blaney sitting right here. What's up, Ryan Blaney? One of the Sino candidates with the Sunoco Rookie of the Year here. Sitting down, what? I'm not a rookie. I, I thought you were a rookie. In, in, you're not running the rookie deal? I am this not year? a rookie this year. Okay, you're not a rookie this year, but <laughs> you're one of the young guns here. Tell me about uh, getting out there for that first session. It's very important to get some speed out of this car with the qualifying session coming up. Yeah, I think we're starting back up again, so it's going to get loud, but it uh, wasn't really the first session we were looking for. I think um, we'll be a lot better here in the second session, so looking forward to getting underway. All right, Ryan Blaney here. Here come the cars on the track, and this is the end of Garage Camp. I'm your host, Matthew Dillner. Hope you enjoy the show, and until next time, we'll see if Rowdy Bush wins, and we'll see you at the races.